back. And what seems to be a serious allegation here, the Mumbai Indians have written a letter to every member of the IPL governing council expressing their view that the fourth IPL auction recently held in Bangalore was rigged. Now, the letter, a copy of which is with NDTV, points at how the auction rules were changed last minute. Now, according to the letter, the order of the auction was supposed to have been random to ensure transparency, but was then changed to a predetermined order. Now, without naming any franchisee in particular, the letter does seem to suggest that the rules were tweaked in favour of Chennai Super Kings franchisee owned by the BCCI Secretary N. Srinivasan. Now, the letter also asks who authorised the change of these rules and what was the source of authority. Well, Om Shanti Om star Deepika Padukone is all set for a trip here in the south and helping her along might just be the superstar himself. Take a look at this. <laughs> Believe it or not, Deepika Padukone actually made her on-screen debut before Om Shanti Om. Contrary to popular belief, her very first role was a small part in the 2000 crime thriller Snegade. And now it looks as though the Bangalore beauty is all set to return to her roots and this time no small part will suffice. We are told that Deepika has been offered a starring role opposite none other than superstar Rajnikant in his next. Time definitely I think is, is one of the most instrumental things in all our lives, whether it's for love, whether it's for money, whether it's for success. Well, the only problem is time is exactly what she doesn't seem to have. Perhaps then the one thing Rajni can't do is to get her dates to change. <laughs> yes, would you believe that after the blockbuster that was Robot, that Deepika might be turning down her chance to star opposite Rajni Kant? If the mind boggles, we will tell you that she's keen, obviously, but has unfortunately committed her dates. At the end of the day, I'm doing a film, uh, you know, so I, I have to put my pre personal preferences aside. Dipika is currently shooting Arakshan opposite Ajay Devgan, Desi Boys with Akshar and John, and Saif Ali Khan's untitled project directed by Homi Adhijanya. And yes, though they all seem like profitable propositions, they cannot match the box office reach that Rajni all but guarantees. So I'm hoping, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it all happens again. We're told that she's trying to do everything she can to accommodate the shoot, but perhaps she's made her first mistake. After all, she can't shift time, but there's one person who can. Get ready, folks. NDTV Bureau Report. Well, sticking to cinema, that theme actors Arya, Anushka, Tamanna, Saranya, and amongst the recipients of the Kalai Mamani Awards, cinematographer Rajiv Menon and music director Bharadwaj have also been selected for the awards. Now, others in the list of the state awards announced uh, for today for the year 2008, 2009 and 2010 include electric uh, veena player Rajesh Vedya and a writer Rajesh Kumar, singer Chinna Punna, uh, Nanjil Nandan and Nyana Sekran, TV and uh, character artists in movies uh, Chinni Jayanth, Devati and uh, Poovi Langa, Mohan are the other recipients. Well, and now how about a delicious meal cooked with no oil, no butter, minimal flavouring but with maximum nutritional value. Well, chef uh, Brent Savage does exactly that as our features editor Anuradha Anand finds out. Now, she caught up with him at the On the Rocks at Park Sheraton Hotel and Taz and his uh, sous vide method of cooking. Take a look. Chef Brent Savage, contrary to his name, is soft-spoken and gently firm as he goes about preparing the chicken on the cutting board. His forte? The sous vide technique of cooking. Sous vide is French for under vacuum and a method of cooking food in water for a long time at an accurately determined temperature. The intention is to maintain the integrity of ingredients and their natural flavours. The cooking technique that I'm going to demonstrate is um, sous vide cooking. It's uh, essentially cooking in a bag. It's a very healthy way of cooking because uh, you don't need to use oil and fat. It's essentially just poaching the protein in its own juice and seasoning. Savage is the founder of Bentley Restaurant and Bar in Sydney, listed as one of Australia's top 20 restaurants by the Australian Gourmet Traveller. Not surprising once you've tasted his creations. In a matter of minutes, Chef Savage and his assistant David Verhul whipped up a wholesome poached chicken with a herb puree, saffron shallots and breadcrumbs and a delicate tasting panna cotta with pista. It makes uh, cooking meat very consistent and precise every single time. Uh, so if you get it right at the first stage, uh, everything from there on out will be exactly the same, exactly perfectly cooked or exactly how you want it every single time. And in a busy restaurant environment, that consistency is, is key. 
But will the Chennaiites demanding palate for spicy masalas be satiated with such mild flavors? Of course, if the food is so fabulous and uh, the technique is so good that uh, it keeps the nutrients inside it and uh, the way it is packed in uh, vacuum packed and then cooked in the sous vide technique, uh, it's so healthy and nice. But yes, we would uh, need to tweak a little bit and uh, add in a little spices into it to get to the palate of uh, India and uh, surely it will catch up in some time. So head to On The Rocks if you wish to sample Chef Savage's nouveau cooking techniques. He's there until the 31st of January. With camera person Gauri, this is Anuradha Anand for NDTV Hindu. Well, that's all we have time for. But news and updates continue in Tamil. Keep watching.